These are the top 10 players in the world in FIFA 23. And their card stats? Well, let's just say if you pack one of these bad boys, you're going to dominate an ultimate team. Now, obviously, with this being a top 10 players ranking and comparison, many of the players are tied in terms of their actual player ratings. So the only fair way to rank this is for the top five and bottom five to be put in alphabetical order. Science, right? So let's kick it off. Sure did they kick it off with number 10. And in at number 10, we have Madrid keeper Courtois. Courtois in FIFA 22 was many players go to keeper and for a good reason. Not only is Courtois six foot six, he's also extremely mobile to go with it. His positional awareness and reflexes have always been great, but in FIFA 23, we see even more of an improvement. With Courtois base card rating increasing from 89 to 90, along with this, we also see an increase in his kicking, reflexes and positioning. Whilst there are significant improvements, it's a shame to see that his speed rating has stayed the same. In at number nine, we have another keeper, this time from Bayern Munich. You guessed it, it's Neuer. Neuer is an absolute beast between the posts in FIFA 22, and this does not change in FIFA 23. With only a decrease in diving, taking the rating from 88 previously to now 87, Neuer is still unreal, with pretty much every stat near in the 90s. Most of the stats still remain the same, but Neuer sees a big increase in his positioning, with him previously being in the high 80s, and with the latest update, his positioning is now in the 90s. Neuer is slightly shorter than Courtois, coming in at 6'4", but combining his physical presence alongside his insane stats, and this may well be your number one goalkeeper for foot 23. At number 8, we have the maestro of the Sioux himself, Cristiano Ronaldo from Manchester United. Ronaldo, for obvious reasons, was one of the most used strikers in the game for FIFA 22. With his clinical finishing combined with his physical attributes, and whilst there is a slight decrease in this in FIFA 23, he will still be a force to be reckoned with up front. Ronaldo's base player rating sees a decrease, going from 91 previously to 90. The big stat change that hurts the most is Ronaldo showing his age with a significant pace decrease, going from 87 pace to now 81. The stat decrease continues with a decrease in shooting, passing and dribbling, whilst defensive and physicality stats remain the same. In at number 7, we have Mo Salah from Liverpool. In FIFA 22, whenever you were loading into a game and saw the dreaded Mo Salah on the right wing, you knew you were going to be in for a long game. And this is not only going to be the same in FIFA 23, but it's actually going to get worse with Salah now being a 90-rated player. Salah sees a significant increase in his shooting, going from 87 to 89, making Salah even more clinical. Salah also sees a slight increase in passing, whilst his pace, dribbling, defending and physicality stats remain the same. At number 6, we also have a fellow Liverpoolian in the absolute unit that is Virgil van Dijk. When you're making your dream team an ultimate team, it's hard to not imagine van Dijk not being the leader at the back and for good reason. Van Dijk can bully everyone off the ball with his physicality and every single aerial ball is won by the beast himself. This continues in FIFA 23 and sees a significant increase that will make fans of van Dijk foam at the mouth. Van Dijk's pace in FIFA 23 now sees him boosted into the 80s along with a physicality increase further making him an absolute brick wall in defence. At number 5 we have the always reliable and the contender for best beard in the game, Karim Benzema from Real Madrid. It feels like Benzema has been around since the beginning of time and FIFA. Not only this, but even more incredibly, Benzema just keeps getting better. Benzema's base player ratings see a huge increase, taking him from 89 to 91, and along with this, sees a significant increase in his stats too. Benzema's pace takes a huge jump from 76 to 80, and now Benzema will be even more reliable with an increase in his shooting stats. His passing and physicality stats all see a slight increase, whilst his dribbling and defending remain the same. At number four, we have the man pulling the strings at Man City and potentially the rosiest cheeks in the game, Kevin De Bruyne. De Bruyne's base player rating remains the same, but there is a mixed bag with rewards to increases and decreases in his player stats. Kevin sees a slight decrease in his pace, with his shooting increasing and thankfully, his masterful passing remains the same. His dribbling and physicality see a very slight decrease, but not enough where De Bruyne isn't a must-have in midfield. At number three, we have the pace demon, also known as Kylian Mbappe from PSG. Now this is a strange one. Mbappe's player rating stay the same, but his overall face card player stats only see one increase with the rest being decreases. Pace Demon retains his pace, but he sees very minimal decreases in physicality. Shooting shows a slight increase, but interestingly, there's not many other changes on Mbappe's card. Is this likely to change people using him in foot? Absolutely not. Whilst there are no increases, his base card will likely make him one of the most used cards until we see informs and player updates in the game. At number two, who else could it be but the mini maestro himself, Lionel Messi from PSG. A tough pill to swallow for Messi fans here, with Messi seeing a decrease in two on his overall player ratings from FIFA 22, with his rating dropping from 93 to 91. Messi's player stats basically drop across the board in all areas other than defending. Not that you're planning on having Messi in the heart of your defence anytime soon, but potentially the stat decrease that hurts the most will be the big decrease in pace. Messi's pace drops from a reasonable 85 rating to a very questionable 81 rating, meaning that Messi may not be suited to everyone's playstyle. Whilst there are slightly less impactful decreases in shooting, passing and dribbling, Messi still remains a danger up 
up front and with the right play style is still a player to be feared and finally in at number one we have the guy that scores goals for fun Robert Lewandowski for the new FC Barcelona with new surroundings in FIFA 23 for Lewandowski along with that comes a new player rating with a drop from 92 previously to 91 when you play with Lewandowski in ultimate team you pretty much know what to expect and this is not going to change in FIFA 23 you get a clinical striker who uses positioning and physicality over pace and the same will be true in FIFA 23 Lewandowski's true talent is with his shooting and finishing ability which sees a very minimal drop but will still be enough to be able to make you rage quit after his positioning sets him up for three tappings against you Lewandowski sees a big drop in pace but has also been in the weight room with an increase in physicality with a brand new team meaning Lewandowski can be paired with some giants in the Spanish league it's going to be extremely interesting to see his progression both in the game and on the pitch in real life which player are you most looking forward to adding to your ultimate team let us know in the comments down below and subscribe for more FIFA news